Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to another rendition of the Anthony Around Town Show, the best darn talk show in Elko, Nevada. My name's Anthony. Over here is Matthew. Uh, but as you can see, he is a little distracted right now. I just wanted to at least have you guys acknowledge the fact that was he that he's here because I know he's probably like 75% of why most of you even tune into this thing every single week. So he's here. I promise it's not just me, but uh, we'll get to him in just a second. Sorry, you're going to have to talk to just me for a moment. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, in case you're just new and in case you're just joining us, this is the weekly show where Matthew and myself and sometimes some special guests just hop online uh, and just talk about the Elko Spring Creek, Carlin, surrounding areas, community as a community. So sometimes we talk about some awesome people. Sometimes we talk about some awesome events. Sometimes we're talking about some awesome food. And uh, we always just have a really good time doing it, though. And so, again, if you're new, just checking us, for, us out for the first time, whether you're watching this live here on this Monday night or you're watching this a little bit later on uh, social media, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, or our website, Thank you so much for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you've been around for a minute, what's up, everybody? What's going on, community? Hope you all have been well. Uh, we haven't been on for a couple of weeks, and not really sure why we weren't on two weeks ago. Maybe I just uh, I just needed a night or something like that. I don't know. And uh, one of us wasn't feeling well uh, last week. And uh, just needed uh, just another night just to chill because, you know, it's fall, stuff's getting colder, uh, everything's getting a lot more uncomfortable if you're not into the cold. I know I'm not. And so, you know, like a like an old sedan that's just sat too long in your garage, sometimes I just need a while to warm up to get my oil, you know, loosey-goosey, if you will. But we're here. We're ready to rock and roll, so thank you so much for joining us. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, uh, just have some awesome local business, uh, local businesses to talk with you about, and uh, one of them that's super exciting in particular. I'll get to that in just a second. But these businesses that I'm about to mention, these are the businesses that help make Anthony Around Town the website and its content that you hopefully have come to love and enjoy every single week possible. Uh, these businesses are what we call just our sponsorship partners. And so they walk alongside of us and they practically help this thing happen. So every time we take some time and give them some love, that's exactly what it is, just straight up love. Because without these community-centric businesses and brands, we wouldn't be chilling here tonight. We'd probably be, I'd probably be at home with a nice glass of eggnog or something like that, which does sound nice, and I'll do that later, but I'm happy hanging out with you. I can, that can wait, that can wait. Uh, so let's get into some of these businesses and uh, give them some love. First of all, we have NV Off-Road located right here where Matthew and I are physically sitting right now, 1430 Stitzel Road, Suite A. That's 1430 Stitzel Road, Suite A. Uh, the reason why we love them so much is because Again, this is where we're at right now. They make our studio space possible. Uh, this is the spot where we do the live show, sometimes record podcasts, shoot videos, interview people. This all happens because they were generous enough to make this space available for us to do all of our shenanigans. So without Justin and the boys down here at 1430 Stitzel Road Suite A, uh, we'd probably be you know, in my kitchen with horrible sound like we were last year. Trash. Absolutely trash. So we thank them so much. And uh, you're going to thank them too if you have a power sports vehicle, uh, whether it be a motocross bike, side-by-side, -side, snowmobile, all that sort of good stuff. If any of that needs some TLC, you bring it down here to NV Off-Road, and they will take care of you. So that's business number one that we love. Business number two, we're going to give some love to Bradshaw Law, LLC, Denise Bradshaw, one of the standout lawyers here in town, always fighting for the people, always trying to make sure that people get... Uh... Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to look at this comment real quick. So uh, we do have live comments 
that we uh, we look at during the show. So if you have anything to drop, drop in the comments, and uh, that's fine. We're just hanging out. We'll just read them. Uh, Michelle says, finger painting much, LOL. Love the show, guys. Oh, so you're referring to what Matthew's doing right now. You can't see him. All right, let's just do this. So in case you're just now joining us, we're going to take that off. We're going to switch to wide shot. Yeah, Matthew, he's doing something over here. I promise we'll talk about it in just a sec. Are, wait, are you really finger painting? I thought she was yes. exaggerating. No. You have so a brush. I have this dinky little brush <laughs> that is just awful. I'm and sorry. I mean, you're putting me under a lot of pressure. And I am. I, I know. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> But uh, all right, I'm just kidding. so get out of here. We got to finish talking about our sponsors. Fingers you keep finger so painting, easier. I guess. I don't know your hey, finger hey, painting. Keep, keep it in mind. Finger painting. Is <sighs> okay, I guess so. But uh, if you need some uh, legal assistance, then we're just going to go to Denise Bradshaw, located at 603 Pine Street is where you can find her, just uh, down in the heart of Elko. All right, let's see what your girlfriend says. She <laughs> says, Michelle, Michelle is uh, her mom. Yeah. You knew that? I didn't know that. That's yes, pretty I cool. Did. So <laughs> the, the the name on the screen right now, Elizabeth, that's Matthew's girlfriend. So that's Matthew's girlfriend in law, mother thing, whatever <laughs> you say that. She's calling him out for finger painting. Thanks, Michelle. I had no idea he was actually even doing that. Uh, so we thank you so much, Denise Bradshaw. Appreciate you. Next business we're giving some love to is the Sandoval Mesa team, Keller Williams Group One. Uh, man, as cold it is, as it is here in Elko, Gosh, it's still a great place, you know. It's still a good place to hang. Still a good place to. Not Minnesota. It's not that cold. It's not as cold as Minnesota, so that's a plus. Uh, we have some cool stuff around here. We have some cool people around here. It's just, it's just, it's just a nice place. And so sometimes you come here, you find work, you fall in love with the community, and you're just like, dang, I, I'm good. I like this town, but I just, I need a house because it's getting cold and I can't be sleeping in my car. Don't really feel like sleeping in a box. I need to figure this thing out. Who am I going to call to help me with my home purchasing process? Boom, check out that name on the screen right now. Sandoval Mesa team, Angela and Beth are going to be your go-to because here's the thing with them. When you work with them, you're not just getting one all-star realtor who's going to make sure you're getting everything on your list. You get two superstar realtors who are going to make sure you get everything on your list. And, you know, like almost anything in life, two is always better than one, right? Two, 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 two candy bars is pretty good. Two million dollars is better than one. Uh, the, I, the song Two is Better Than One by Boys Like Girls. Sure, I guess there's that. Oh, uh, so you're gonna, uh, you're gonna want to uh, to to contact them. And I, you know, we're talking a lot about addresses and stuff when it comes to our sponsors. I'm gonna give you their email address. That's Beth Angela six eight at yahoo.com. Beth Angela six eight at yahoo.com. Shoot them an email. Tell them you want to schedule some viewings. Let them know that your friends and Anthony around town sent them. And uh Matthew, what uh what do they always say over at Santa Val Mesa team? Uh teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> hey, I switched cameras so I thought you're gonna talk more to the camera than you did. Hey, I'm just glad that I still got that after being gone for two weeks. That's true. Yeah. You still remember the catchphrase. <laughs> All right. Before we continue on with our sponsor talk, Danny says just make sure he doesn't start eating the paint, Anthony. Got to keep – what the heck, Danny? Does he know I, something about you that I, I don't know? You eat paint? I uh, used to teach kids rooms, okay. yeah. and they just had some pretty good flavors, you know? Flavors? Yeah. I, I learned it from the kids in the kids' room okay. that – the blue tastes better than the, the yellow by far, definitely. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. We have Marie who says two pecans. Uh, pecans. I'm not sure what that's referring to, but that does sound nice. I can imagine probably the star. We haven't talked about the star today. I know, but two pecans is better I, than one. Oh, thank you for actually paying attention to the words I just said. <laughs> yes, I agree. Two pecans are way better than one. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video, but I tried going for six in one sitting. How did I do? I'm just going to leave it as a tease. Go to Anthony Around Town's YouTube channel. Search for that video. and Because uh, honestly, I don't really remember. That's how, uh, that's how that video went. 
I'll just leave it at that. Uh, all right. So who else we're giving some love to? We've talked about Envy Off Road. We talked about uh, Sandoval Macy Team. We talked about Bradshaw Law. Next, we're talking about our friends over the summit at the Scoreboard Casino Restaurant. Uh, they partnered with us for this last month. They hosted our uh, Townsy Awards that we had, where we just celebrated some locals in the community. We did a really good barbecue tasting with them. They're awesome. Uh, this is our last week partnering with us, and so we just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us this last month. Scoreboard guys, if you're especially if you're in Spring Creek, but wherever, if you feel like taking a little drive, just go check out the Scoreboard. It's fantastic, super delicious, good quality food. Uh, or they have a really good online option. You just go to their site. And you can on, uh, order online, whatever it is. Again, we had the barbecue. That was pretty legit. Uh, but whatever you get there, I just know it's going to be awesome. So, again, thank you, Scoreboard, out in Screen Creek, for partnering with us this last month. And then last but not least, we have some very exciting news. Uh, so how this basically works, all these uh, businesses I'm reading off, uh, we just talked to them. Maybe it's, you know, for a month maybe for in this case a couple of months some of them they've been with us for years uh but we just talked about what it looks like for them to come alongside and support anthony around town for a specific duration of time and when a business comes along and decides to do that you better believe we're gonna blow them up just like this brand new business that we're working with for the next couple of months give it up for covert tax and accounting services woo, woo, woo. uh usually unless you're in the space it's really hard to make counting and numbers and taxes seem fun and exciting because let's just be honest, nobody really wants to deal with all that. But here at Anthony Around Town, like everything we do, we're going to make tax prep a party because our friends over at Cover Tax Services definitely know how to make everything just enjoyable, just super helpful. And uh, I'll just be honest, like all these businesses are amazing. But, uh, you know, I'm probably not going to buy a house anytime soon. If I did, definitely Sandoval Mesa team. Uh, I don't have any sweet power sports toys at all. I wish I did. But if I did, I'd bring them to NV Off-Road. Uh, but the thing with uh, covert tax accounting services is that just me, American citizen, just like all you, I got to still get my taxes done. Got to still do all that. And uh, Stephanie Covert over at uh, Covert Tax and Accounting Services is actually the one who's been taking care of me and making sure that I'm not going to jail which is nice. And so we appreciate them very much. Me personally, I use their services myself for myself, for Anthony around town, all that sort of good stuff. So they definitely get my personal thumbs up. And the big thing you need to know about them is that they used to be on, what's the street that, uh, I always get them mixed up. There's commercial and there's railroad street. Which side is commercial street, Matthew? Uh, commercial is not coffee mug. That's the other side. Yeah. So railroad, it's railroad is the side that touches coffee mug. Actually, no, I think I, I think have that you backwards. have it backwards. Commercial. Commercial. So they used to be, anyways, they used to be on Commercial Street in that area, but then they just moved. I'm going to give you their new address. The new address is 1250 Lamoille Highway, Suite 1045. Let me read that one more time. 1250 Lamoille Highway, Suite 1045 is where you can find covert tax and accounting services, 775 738 Go check them out. New location. It's beautiful. I went in there the last week pristine and uh, just let stephanie and her staff there take care of you guys and then if you do just let them know that anthony around town sent you uh but yeah super thankful for all those businesses old and new for helping us do this thing every single week all right now that that's done let's just go back wide see what matthew's over here doing how close do you think that you are to actually being done doing what um, it is that you're doing i i feel like i'm pretty pretty close pretty close but part of that is because i ran out of a little bit of paper i Ooh. wanted to do something cooler on the bottom but yeah. i just decided that i just didn't have enough room i didn't leave myself a good amount of of paper to rough. do that but that's rough you know, it's it's all good. I'll figure out something else cool to do. Okay, well, are you ready to? And how close are you to till you want to unveil it? Do you want me to keep talking and then come back to to what we're doing with that, uh, or are you pretty close? Yes, I would. I would keep talking. Okay, I'll keep talking. I'll talk about one thing and then I'm coming back to you. So you have probably about five minutes. All right. Uh, so what Matthew's doing, just in case you are new to the show. 
there's a point to why he's painting over there. Basically, what we do here on the Anthony Around Town live show is we look back at the week, or in this case, case the couple weeks previous to this Monday night, at some of the content that we just put out. And uh, we just kind of elaborate on it, talk about it, dive into it, see if you guys in the live chat have anything to say about that, all that sort of good stuff. And uh, so we'll talk about some content that we did around painting in a second. But I want to talk about now about a blog post that we put out uh, last, when did we do it? Wednesday, I think. Last Wednesday, no, Thursday, because I put it out on a Thursday because it has to do with Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving's obviously on a Thursday, and I think it's like in two weeks or something like that. Uh, uh, three Three weeks. It's two, coming. Two and a half. I coming think. close. It's coming yeah. very, very close. So anyway, it came out last Thursday, and this uh, blog post was about a local uh, passion project, as the women behind it defined it, um, called Thanksgiving Dinner for the Kids, and this is ran and put on by a couple awesome women named Stacy and Tabitha. Uh, they've been doing it for five years, and basically what you need to know is they just want to make sure that kids in the Elko County community, as, even as far out to Jackpot, I think they told me, uh, cool. have a good Thanksgiving meal to, to enjoy with their families because as easy as it might be to assume that everybody who lives here in the Elko area has, you know, big mining corporation money. Uh, the reality is that not everybody, not everybody just has that. And there's families in our area who have a hard time getting by this time, especially this year. I mean, obviously, you know, we don't have to really explain why that is, but this year hit a lot of people. But for the past five years, Tabitha and uh, Stacy have been putting on this outreach. And I think Tabitha said that she estimate close to maybe seven to 800 kids and families that they've served by helping them get Thanksgiving dinners. So essentially what they do is they start, uh, you know, early fall and they just go around to different businesses or neighbors and stuff like that, the, the community. And they just ask them to donate different items uh, to contribute to this dinner, whether that be a grocery store providing turkeys, a church baking pies, uh, certain groups getting this, certain groups getting that, some people dropping this off. So they were just really uh, ga- you know, all about gathering food. So that way what they would do is they partnered with uh, a local – in school organization called Communities and Schools who works with with kids who just needs these type of assistances and services and things like that. And they would pass off the the food to communities and schools and communities and schools would distribute the uh, the food to uh, the people who needed it and distribute it properly. That's how it's been the last four years. But obviously, 2020, everything, you know, it's pretty much had to change. Not a lot, a whole lot of stuff from the past few years have... uh, you know, really remain the same. And so what we talked about in the blog article, go to anthonyaroundtown.com if you want to read this in more detail. Uh, but we talked about the fact that they just can't, even if they wanted to. And they they told me specifically they would prefer to collect food uh, practically, but they just can't. Uh because of everything. And you know, so what they have to do this year is they have to uh raise money so that they can distribute it the money the gift cards whatever to the the family so they can in turn go and purchase the thanksgiving meals for their families and uh we talked about all the stuff that you you know you might even be thinking when you hear something like that uh so obviously the big question with that is like well how do you feel about just handing people money some people aren't really into that some people whatever but number one they just don't have a choice because of what's going on in the globe. Uh, number two, they just they they want to make it clear they're not the ones who actually gives out anything. The years before, they didn't give out the food. Uh, this year, they're not the ones giving out the money. They help gather all the resources, and then they hand it over to communities and schools, and their professionalism and their uh, involvement with the schools and with these families and with these kids, they properly get, in this case, the funds to the right families. So they're not over here being like, hey, who wants $20? Who wants 50 And like, no, everything's been properly handled. Everything is uh, going about everything the right way. And uh, and then the big thing they just said, though, is like, well, at the end of the day, we just got to have faith. You know, sometimes you just got to have faith in people uh, to do the right thing. And that's really all that we can do. And 
which everything else is out of uh, our control. We just feel like we know what we need to do, and that's helping people who need help. Other than that, that's everything else is out of our control. We can only control what we can control, and we want to do this. And so they were able to make it happen. Uh, go, again, go read the blog article. They were a little nervous about if they were going to make it happen because of everything, but they were able to figure it out. And because of them, they're able to make sure that a lot of people get uh, Thanksgiving meals in a couple of weeks. And so, uh, Matthew, as you hear that, as you finish up your little project, uh, what do you think about when you hear like people in our community doing stuff like that? Um, uh, what do you think? That definitely, it kind of hits home a little bit because I don't know if you remember, there was a time in my life where I, uh, I didn't get to celebrate Thanksgiving with anybody um, it was just one particular year where it was a super rough year. I was living in just a place that uh, wasn't good mentally and and I guess physically as well. I wasn't able to kind of thrive in that place. I was just becoming an adult and I was just learning kind of how to navigate things from being a teenager to being an adult. Um, but... Yeah, I, I got to take advantage of one of those programs where um, I just saw a, a real, um, I don't even know exactly what to say, uh, like what to name it off the top of my head, but just people just really coming together, really taking care of the community um, to, I guess, spread the holiday joy, like the holiday joy would be probably the best way that I can say it. Um and so, yeah, I mean, I, I say that with a lot of things, but this is just one of those things that, you know, you, it, I love it. You can't, you know, you can't do better than helping out your neighbor. That's um, good. So, yeah, I mean, definitely go check them out. I know I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go see what I can do to help out other people. Yeah, if you want to, they uh, obviously go follow them on Facebook. Just look up Thanksgiving dinner for the kids. Uh, and then I believe, if I remember the details correctly, it, forgive me, I should have wrote them down on my notes before the show started. But I'm pretty sure, uh, what is today? Today's what, the 9th? I'm pretty sure this Sunday is the 15th, which means that I, this Sunday is going to be the day that they're going to be at the Big Corys in Spring Creek, I think from 1 to 3. And they're just going to be there themselves, Stacy and Tabitha, uh, just collecting the funds for this outreach. So if you want to go see them, talk to them yourself, ask them some questions, or just thank them for the great things that they're doing, uh, again, check that out this Sunday, I believe, from 1 to 3 at the Big Corys. But just go look at the article. Uh, that has all the details in it for sure. And, uh, again, I just say like thank you to them. Thank you for people like them in our community yes. who just put in a lot of work because it is a lot of work doing what they do. Um, you know, I've seen them doing this for. So originally, we interviewed them for Anthony Around Town two years ago, uh, and just kind of got their story. This this article I just wrote on them was like more of a follow up. Uh, but just being able to see the last few years their their work ethic and how much goes into something like this, it's a lot because uh, there's a lot of people who need help, and so. They don't do it for any other anything else, but rec, you know they don't do it for recognition. They don't get paid to do it. They don't get you know whatever. They do it because they uh, Tabitha said you know kids are our future, and so they want to invest in the future of Elko, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, so thank you to them. Thank you for people like them uh, and the businesses in our community who've stepped up and uh, supported them. Uh, they mentioned eh, I, I won't say that, but they just said. When they weren't sure they were going to do it, there's some people who kind of got on them for not maybe not doing it. And then when they ended up doing it, the, same, the people who said some things weren't very quick to help out uh, once they started doing it. But some businesses were. Some businesses showed up and definitely backed them and gave them some good support. So if you're one of those businesses or people, thank you for awesome. uh, walking the walk. And But it's not too, it's still not too late. So go check out that blog uh, on our, on our uh, website, anthonyaroundtown.com. All right, Matthew, I think your five minutes are way up. So let me set up this, and then you're going to give us a big dramatic reveal on the, uh, the side camera here. So Sounds what Matthew's good. doing, He, I asked him to give me his best uh, 
sunset mountain painting because uh, I put out a video mm, two weeks ago uh, about me going down to a, a local business in town called Clearly Nevada Art Gallery, uh, which is also known as the Bob Ross Art Gallery because uh, that's where uh, a good guy named Leroy, Leroy Reese uh, teaches people how to paint like Bob Ross. And so you show up and Lee Ray puts you through a class and shows you all the ins and outs and the techniques and the details. And uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of work, a lot more work. Than I, I mean, because if you ever watched uh, a Bob Ross show, I think they're like usually like a half an hour, right? And Bob Ross, he just shows up and he's, you know, talking really peaceful and let me you know give this happy little tree a little friend over here yeah this oh it's just you know happy little accidents there's no mistakes here like he just has that persona and then 30 minutes go by and you're like how did he turn those four lines into the most beautiful <laughs> landscape i've ever seen in my life so you kind of think that going in like oh whatever but like no it's uh definitely a skill definitely a technique and uh i but i had fun with it go watch the video either on our youtube channel here on our facebook page or anthony around to see the end results but my biggest struggle with it is i kept thinking i was painting like how matthew's painting right now with like kindergarten style brush strokes like blah 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 but you can't really do that in that type of painting you definitely have to use the the technique and sometimes you have to use this little like it's like a little knife thing and you have to like looks like i don't know it's crazy you have to beat your board sometimes to get stuff there but uh, so go check that video out if you haven't already, uh, uh, or just go take a class. You know, a lot yeah. of people com- yeah. I'll say it, a lot of people complain that there's not stuff to do in Elko, but there's some go good take business a Bob in Ross there. Class. Yeah. Take a Bob Ross class. Who can say that? Go take a Bob Ooh, Ross class. Real. That's a good date night idea right there. Uh, so go check them out. They're on Commercial Street. Speaking of Commercial Street, they're like right there by the the little museum and by. Uh, uh, what's the the cowboy business right there that's on the side with the horse? I don't remember. But they're over there on Commercial yeah. Street. Uh, so go check them out. But anyways, I want to switch cameras so we can see a little bit better. Uh, oh, hold on. Bump the table. Camera came out. Not there we go. Bad. Uh, all right, Matthew. So you've had, well, I guess, like, I don't know, like, what, 40 minutes or so? I would that's say 30 because I had to All right. Start. You, oh, that's right. You, he, yeah, I had him start before we went on camera, and he's like, dude, can I start over? This it is trash. trash. <laughs> All right. But I'm curious to see. Let's, uh, let's see. Actually, I'll hold it up to the camera, and you can walk us through your process. Right. So three, right. two, one. Okay. There we go. That's my painting. I'm going I'm to just – my controller was broken because – all I had was this and a bottle of water. <laughs> I think I did phenomenally with the tools that I had. I think it looks cool. It looks so. What's that blue so, thing by the sun? Though? Is that supposed to be water? So it's. I, I kind of wanted to do. Initially, I have like this like dream place that I would love to have gone, but that that would have been way too difficult to paint with this. So I just decided that I'd go ahead and do just a normal sunset. Um, I, for whatever reason, it was probably from when I was younger, I thought one of the coolest things to do, and I remember my brother was telling me this, um, it's actually an argument for why the earth is a sphere. Okay. But if you go to Hawaii, this is what he told me. If you go to Hawaii, you can see the sunset or the sunrise and, and set, um, through the water, through the curvature of the earth, you can see it through the water. Um, I think that would be phenomenal to go see. So I kind of implemented that a little bit where um, you can still kind of see the sun uh, rising up out of the out of the, the water. Okay. Um, I definitely wanted to add some green, some grass, some land, um, you know, just because, you know, green, it just feels healthy, it feels sure. life, right? So I wanted to do something healthy um in my painting and then my idea the cool thing that i was going to do on the bottom side of the page Mm -hmm. um another thing that i like to do uh, when i'm drawing the sun is i like to be able to incorporate the moon as well um so i like to draw one half bright one half dark right because day and night uh but because i didn't leave enough paper there i just filled it out with uh, the rest of it green. I wow. wanted to do some trees and stuff. But what I ended up doing was um, 
the the sun it shines uh, bright and then it, it turns kind of like to a purple to like a dark and I did my best to add some stars on there. Wow, that was more elaborate than I thought. I didn't know you were pointing on all that detail. Am I ever <laughs> not that elaborate? <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> wow, I uh, that's I'm really impressed right now. So. Good job. Hey, thank you. That was beautiful. Uh, yeah. So go take a I'll take, go take an art class. Boom. Uh, yeah, I hope that's what you got out like, of it. It's, you'll get cultured. cultured. Go take art because art, art will culture you. Go so take an art class. It'll also, if you horizons. want culture, what also you could, you could also do is you could just eat a big old bag of candy. That might give you culture or cavities, uh, whichever one. Korean candy. Korean candy. They order some Korean candy Korean online. Candy. Or some Japanese candy or that some Mexican good. candy. You, I mean, you can get that probably at La, La Unica. Um, mm-hmm. It's pretty chill. Go order some cultural candy. That's right. You should do that. But today, we're not talking about cultural candy. We're talking about the candy that you can just find in the grocery store as you're walking out. You know, the, the candy bars as you're trying to get out of the store. Yes. But they put it right next to the register so your kid sees it and wants to grab it. And you have to say no because you just spent $170 on groceries. They don't need a candy. We just have a whole basket of food. And then they start throwing a fit because you want them to get the candy. And then everybody starts staring at you. And they're like, okay, fine. You can get the candy. And then uh, you just, you know, you're spoiling your kid. And then they grow up entitled. And then they... Uh, I don't know, you know, just, they just spiral. That was a that lot was more a lot. elaborate than I <laughs> thought you were going to get. We're talking candy. Here's why we're talking so much candy. So, the last piece of content we're going to talk about was one we put out the day before Halloween, Halloween yes. Eve. And that was with a couple of more of our business sponsor friends, uh, B3 Glass and uh, Duke's Diesel Repair. I hung out with the owners of both of those bad boys. And uh, we talked about their businesses. We talked about how great B3 Glass is. It, all things glass, residential, commercial, siding, all that sort of good stuff. They're the peak of the peak. And then Duke's Diesel Repair, man, if you have anything, any type of vehicle that needs to get back on the road, whether it be big or small, you get a hold of uh, Russ over at Duke's Diesel Repair, and he'll make sure it happens. So, we, of course, we talked about all that. But, Matthew, is Halloween Eve. And there's a couple of things on everybody's mind on Halloween Eve. Uh, the candy. Some costumes, some spooky movies, all that sort of good stuff. But especially the candy is on all of our minds. And so what we did, if you missed the video, is I took the boys through the top 10 options for Halloween candies. And we gave the definitive ranking of which one is best, the peak quality. Like if you're trick-or-treating and you get this in your bucket, then you know it's a good night. You're going home happy. To the, wor- to the worst, the most trash candy on that list where if you get that in your bucket, you m- might go back later and egg a house. That's what we're talking about. So Matthew, though, he wasn't there for that video shoot. We did that shoot on a Saturday. And, uh, you know, Matthew, he's just chilling. He works hard. He doesn't need to wake up early on a Saturday. So we just, me, Jason, and Russ, uh, we, we shot that video. But you, So you weren't there. So you didn't get to weigh in on this definitive list. So right now, Matthew, what I'm going to do is we're just going to go through it right now. Why not? Yes. Right now, we're going to look through. So in case you missed it, here's the list. We got Snickers. We got Kit Kat. We got Jelly Beans, Butterfingers, Hershey's, just plain up Hershey's Chocolate, Reese's Peanut Butter Cuffs, Babe Ru- Baby Ruth, Twix, M&M's, and Skittles. So, Matthew, you got this list a little earlier. Hopefully, yes. you've had t- some time to think. Yes. So, let's just go through. Let's start with your most trash, and then we'll work our way up to the best of the best. So, right. I'm gonna ri- I'll write it down so we can do a recap after, so we don't have to spend too much time going through each. But Sounds what's good. the most trash on that list? Just looking um, at it. Maybe you might have to go just your gut. It's my personal opinion, right? All you, all personal. All we right. already gave the definitive list, so this is just what I, this is just for fun. Sounds you want the good. definitive list that nobody can dispute? Go watch the video we put out. All right, number ten. What's the trashiest thing on that list? I would probably say. Jelly beans. Jelly beans. Okay. I like them, okay. but I think those are the most, like, the the ones that I have to be in the mood for. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, and then y- they have Bean Boogle. I that don't want to play. I don't want to play. Bean I never have. I'm never going that to. That game is and trash. Okay. That, so that's All right. Why. So that's fair. Okay. Number nine. What's the step up from Jelly Beans then? 
Um, I'm not too big on Kit Kats. Wow. Yeah. I know that one's going to be a pretty oh, controversial that's gonna, one. Oh, that's going to ruffle some feathers right there, they, man. There wow. was a time in my life that I liked them pretty good, but I don't know. They're just... They what just about them that you just don't like? Huh? What about them is it what you don't like? I think what it came down to was there was probably just one Halloween that I ate too many Kit Kats. Oh, and I see, I see. I just don't prefer the particular flavor of Yeah, so it's like when you're like you're young and you first start drinking a lot and you go way too hard on some tequila or some Jägermeister never drink and so you can never drink it, like it just makes you sick. So it's like that. Kit Kats I, I is your Jäger. So. Okay. I think okay. So. okay. Um, right. That and when I was a kid, I was super heavy on chocolate, but growing up, I've transitioned from chocolate to caramel. Okay. I like caramel a lot more than I like chocolate now. Fair. So. Okay. Number uh, eight. Um, with that said, uh oh, I feel like you're about ready to contradict yourself. M and M's. Well, okay, well that's that's on. It was that, just that another sense. thing that it, it follows in line with that. When I was young, I loved M and M's. I'd buy the little tubes that you pop open. <laughs> and just, oh, those were good. Those hit right, different right? than like the big M and M's. Those were good. Yeah. Um, but eventually, over time. Just plain M and M's. I like peanut M and M's. Super. I was good. gonna say there's like, other flavors. Those, but but yeah, those are a little different. Just straight just chocolate M and M's. Okay. Um, I'd probably say M and M's. Okay, number seven. Uh, I would I would have to go with the Hershey's, mm. not in the s'mores version. Yeah. So just a Hershey's by itself, not the white chocolate, mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. the peanut Hershey's, none of those. Um. They're good, but once again, just not my favorite. Okay. So. Let's uh, go six. Um, I think from a Hershey's, I would probably have to move on. This one, this one was a tough one for me because I used to love them. I really, uh -oh. really, really loved them. Butterfingers. Mm. I, those were my go-to all the time. Okay. But, and it could be just me. Or it could be that they actually changed their recipe or something. Huh. But I remember that they had a distinct, like, a different, a yellow or yellow for their packaging. And those Hershey's, or those Butterfingers just started. Wow. I want to say it was a couple of years ago. I, Dang. I think they were coming out with, like, the sugar-free Butterfingers mm -hmm. at the time or something. Okay. And they just, uh, they just, just didn't, ruined didn't it. hit the they same, huh? They ruined it. And wow. It could be me. Like I said, this is maybe, your list. They didn't, maybe they didn't change anything on the recipe and my taste buds just changed. If so, okay, I need to cut my tongue out because I really loved them. And okay. they, they would have been number one on my list. But, but now they're way, they're not even they, top they five. Out, not yeah, even top five. To like six wow. So. All right, well, let's see what is top five. Give us your number five spot. All right, number five. Um, I would probably go with a good baby Ruth. They're they're good. They're solid candy bars. I don't get them. They're not my go to choice all the time. But Kay. they're a solid candy bar. So like what them. do you even know what it's in a baby Ruth? Because I can never remember. Tell me off the top of my head right now what's even in a baby Ruth. I believe that they have some peanuts. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> peanuts. And uh, it's kind of like um I, I don't know if they have a I actually don't think they have peanuts. They I, don't? I think they have like that like um it's like almost like a Milky Way kind of. It's like like that's kind of how I, I Is a Milky Way like nougat No. Caramel the Milky, and chocolate? The Milky Way you like bite through and it's like that cream like that fluffy stuff. Fluffy, yeah. Chocolate yeah. fluff. I oh. wanna say a baby Ruth is is a, something along those lines. Hey but, Siri. She answers. Hey Siri. This is interesting because <laughs> what's in a baby Ruth? Here's an answer from Wikipedia.org. Baby Ruth is an American candy bar made of peanuts, caramel, and milk chocolate flavored nougat. Covered Dang. in compound chocolate. Okay, there you go. So it, I was right. It did have peanuts, but I yeah, was wrong. Uh, nougat caramel. I can never remember. But okay. Yeah. So that's your number five. What's number four? Uh, Top four. Um, got to look at that one more time. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, ch 
I'd say probably between a Reese's and a Skittles, I think would be tied so, for number three. So you have a tie three for three and four, depending on your so, move. A Reese's and Skittles a Skittles. And Reese's. Wow. Something interesting. Wow. I was super bummed about it. So since we moved to our new place uh, just down the road, mm-hmm. um, me and Elizabeth, we saw a bunch of kids around the neighborhood, and we're like, oh, yay, they're, they're going to be trick-or-treaters this Halloween, right? We got to load up. We got, like, three, five, ten dollar bags of, like, nice candy. Like, yeah, we had a, a ton of candy. Uh, we gave one of those bags away, and we still have, like, one and a half bags. Um just a ton of candy. Nobody came to our door. Oh. Not a single trick or treater because they wow. were all going to trunk or treat stuff oh, like yeah, that, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. understandable. It was true. Yeah, again, this year's um, different for everybody. That makes sense. I had two giant Reese's cup, like I, I think they're like the like a two point five pound. Oh my like, gosh, Reese's thing. Um, I was just gonna give it to one kid. Who ever, like, <laughs> one initially, lucky, initially one lucky it was gonna be if I thought their costume was like <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, that's kind of cool. But nobody came, so it, it turned into well, <laughs> if if a kid comes, he'll get this. And then it turned into <laughs> all you have to do is show I guess up. I'll eat half of it and throw it in my refrigerator <laughs> Good and, and freeze it until I can I can handle some more chocolate. So. Dang, 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 dang. You guys missed out. If you didn't go to Matthew's house, you could have got hooked up. Yeah. But speaking of hooking up, hook us up with two and one. So I think you have Twix and Snickers left. So yes, I do. Which one is the penultimate candy? Um, I think I'd have to hit hard with the Twix. Um, it's hard because those are just, they're both really similar. It's I, I want to say they're like one ingredient off. The Twix? Kind of thing. Yeah. From the Snickers? Yeah. They're, so the Twix, the Snickers, and one other candy, they're all pretty much well, the same Well, Baby Ruth. Thing. But I think Twix is cookie and caramel. Twix, or sorry, Snickers is peanut, caramel, nougat. But how's that different from a Baby Ruth? They all, there's like three of them that are pretty much the same thing, except one of them doesn't have each of like the three ingredients. How does it, wait, have. what's the difference between the Snickers and the Baby Ruth? Baby so, Ruth has... Peanuts and ca- oh, I don't think Baby Ruth has caramel. No, they had the. They said caramel. The I what? I don't know. Said- you guys gotta let me know. I don't know uh, the difference, but I like Snickers way more than Baby Ruth. That's for sure. But there's yeah. something in Snickers that's not in Baby Ruth that makes it better. And yes. I, they both have peanuts. They both have nougat. They both have caramel. I don't know what's Baby Ruth missing. Uh, I'll tell you here. Okay, look it up. While you do that, I'll give people a rundown of your top 10. This is Matthew's unofficial top 10 list of the best Halloween candies. Number 10, Jelly Bellies or Jelly Beans. Number 9, Kit Kat. Number 8, M&M's. Number 7, Hershey's Chocolate. Number 6, Butterfinger. Number 5, Baby Ruth. 4 and 3 are interchangeable with Skittles and Reese's Cups. Number 2, Twix. Number 1, Snickers. How does this differ from the candy list we, we shared on the video? Well, I don't know. I guess I'll give you some, you know, I'll let you know. But you really should just go watch the video. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we had a good time with those guys. Uh, we had at number five, we had Hershey's Chocolate, or sorry, number 10, Hershey's Chocolate, because our argument was that type of chocolate, it's just an accessory, right? It's it's the chocolate for your s'mores. It's the chocolate you melt for when you're making a dessert. It's yeah. something you put on your ice cream. Like, you never uh, just eat it No, I don't itself. know anybody who's like, dude. I need some candy. I'm gonna go just buy a bar of Hershey chocolate and munch. Like, yeah. Never met that guy or girl, but I'm like, sure they're out there. Like somebody's funding them. But and and if you have like the variants, like they have those like peanut Hershey. Right. Uh, like, my personal favorite, the, the white chocolate. chocolate. Dude. Peak perfection. Oh my God. Exactly. Uh, so that was our our most trash, and then our number one was the Reese's Cups. Uh, we just feel like they're just classic. They're timeless. They're they're simple. They're enjoyable. Uh, you can't go wrong with a good Reese's Cup. And then everything else on that list just kind of interchanged. You had Butterfinger was high on our list because Russ from Duke's Diesel Repair loves him some Butterfinger. Double so B. Butterfinger was way higher on our list. I'm pretty sure yeah. Skittles was in the top five. 
Did I not put? Oh yeah, Skittles no, was four or three, Skittles was three top or five for you too. Okay, so yeah. what's the difference between a Snickers and a Baby Ruth? Um, so Snickers has a creamier caramel and chocolate that tends to stay intact, opposed to Baby Ruth's chocolate that has a tendency to crumble and lay flakes of chocolate. Snickers have a nougat, caramel, and peanuts covered in mm-hmm, chocolate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, whereas Baby Ruth is basically peanuts around nougat center. Covered in chocolate, so not a whole lot. So, is but there's no caramel. Then that. there's no caramel in the Baby Ruth, right? Is that what that just said? Um, yeah, I knew there's something. Because to me, those yeah. just take taste way different. Which and that's the it. thing too. I think Twix is pretty much like a Twix a is cookie, chocolate, caramel, and cookie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's missing the nougat. It's missing and the so, nougat. So yeah, they're, they're all, all pretty much. It's all the, like the Taco Bell effect. Like Taco Bell has <laughs> right. really like five items on their menu. They just put it in different orders and call yeah. it something different. They put this <laughs> item in a burrito and that item in a taco. And, yeah, and there's they, four items. <laughs> I think, you know, a taco, so, a burrito, and a burrito and taco. Yeah. Yep, yep, and then a sense. normal burrito and a normal sense. taco. So, um, best thing to do, though, with a Snickers and a Twix Kay. is to eat one right after the other. I've never done that. That's my favorite thing to do. I've never um, done that. I want to say I'll go for... I forgot what it was, but I want to say I'll go for a Twix first and then a Snickers. Interesting. Um, and just something about the aftertaste of the one wow. combining with the second one is really good. Uh, at least for me. It, Interesting. That's like one of those You gave small me a little things. bit of homework. Yeah. I've never even thought about trying that. That's, but That's okay. just like one of those okay. small things that I pick up on my day to days where I'm like, oh, I really, I need to get both of them at the same time huh. so I can... I can just go. Back All right, I'm gonna try that like, this week, and I'll and report on. Let me and know. Let, you let guys me know. know. It might just be me. But yeah, I'll let, let you guys know. know next you uh, guys next too. week's show. You guys too. Uh, so that's something to look forward to next week. Speaking so. of things to look forward to, uh, just stay locked in to Anthony around town throughout yes. this week. Wednesday, something special. It's Veterans Day, and uh, so usually we post our content. At night, in the evening, when people are off work and mm. considering, but Wednesdays the holidays, and it's a you know important one. Got to honor the vets, and mm-hmm. so we're gonna have a new blog feature on uh, someone local special. But I think we're gonna release it in the morning, uh, so that way you have all Veterans Day to share it and. Uh, check it out and all that sort of good stuff. So look out Wednesday morning for a new feature. Uh, just stay tuned for anything else cool coming your way. We got a lot of stuff in the pipes. So when it comes out, we'll just have to see. Just uh, Well, there's a few things you can do. You can just stay locked into our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just search Anthony Around Town, and you can like each one of those. So you always stay up to date. Or we're going to stay locked into our main site, AnthonyAroundTown.com. That's where all of our content is housed anyways. Uh, but one big thing that you can do is you can uh, join our weekly email list. And uh, this isn't, you know, about sending ads or anything like that. But this is just so you never miss out on the content. So what happens is every single Monday, I take all the content from the week prior. I get their links. I get their titles. All that sort of good stuff. And then everybody on our email list is a good chunk of people on there now. They get added to uh, be sent these links, these titles, and just a big thank you for me. So all they have to do is open the email. They'll see what they want to see. They could, hey, I want to watch that video. I want to read that blog. I want to listen. Whatever it is, you just click. It'll take you directly to it, and you'll be able to check it out. So go to Anthony Around Town. Hit Stay Connected. All I need is your name and your email, and then you'll be good there. Or just go to the page and uh, just chill for a sec. Just give one of these. <sighs> And then a little pop-up is going to come up asking you if you want to uh, sign up that way. You could do it there as well. Uh, if you need to go hold of us, just email Anthony around town at gmail.com. That's Anthony around town at gmail.com. If you have somebody you want to be featured on future piece of content, you want to partner with us, like all our awesome business sponsors that we talked about at the few, uh, beginning of the show. Uh, if you just are super offended by Matthew's candy list and you want to figure out where exactly he lives so you can go seek revenge Come fight me. or if, uh, you really loved his art, and you're like, I need to have that in my house. How much can um, I? Uh, what do you think? A couple I'm starting, mil. I'm couple starting, mil. I'm starting bidding at twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. That's fair. So. That's fair. Twenty five thousand. Right here. You saw it first. Uh, email Anthony around town at gmail dot com, and uh, we'll set you up, and uh, he'll autograph it for you and everything, and you'll be oh, set yeah. for life. Uh, so that's all you got to do there. 
Uh, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for this rendition of the Anthony Around Town Show. Thanks again to everybody who helps make all of this content possible, especially our newest business par- partner sponsor, Covert Tax and Accounting Services. Definitely uh, thankful to have them on the team over the next couple of months. Uh, but other than that, Matthew, that's going to be it. Anything you need to say before we get out of here? I can't believe you just threw my painting like that. Oh, I just threw a $25,000 <laughs> piece of art like it was nothing. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be shamed by the art community. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Wow. It hurt me. I'm sorry. I've well, never I need been to, hurt that bad I need you. to get out of here so I can make it up to you. So oh, right. with that... Catch you later. I'll see you around, Elko.